Today we're going to talk a little bit about energy. To talk about energy today, we have our wonderful scarf wearing friend here ready to ride on his sled. Whether it looks like it or not, he has a lot of energy stored inside of him. How can that be? He's just sitting there, he's not doing anything. He has a special kind of energy called potential energy, stored energy. He's ready for a force or a push or a pull to act on him. The kind of force that we're going to see act on him is the force of gravity. Gravity is a pull down towards the earth. As soon as we press the play button, this force of gravity is going to act on our volunteer and pull him down towards the earth. He's going to switch from stored energy or potential energy to kinetic energy, the energy of motion. He's moving or being moved. Let's take a look at what happens when I press the play button. Switch to kinetic and then back to potential in a way that he probably didn't enjoy. Our job today is going to be to control the forces acting on our volunteer so that he can have a fun ride, uh, but hopefully not plummet down to the earth. <clears throat> we can control these forces by using these blue lines that will allow him to slide instead of fall. He's still going to have this same force acting on him. Gravity is going to be pulling him downwards, but we're going to control his speed and keep him from going too fast uh, so that he just falls. Let's add a couple of lines here and, and see what happens. There. See? He didn't get very far because I haven't made very much of a slide for him. But your job today is going to be to design a longer slide and to play with these types of energy and these forces acting on him to make him do the most interesting things that you can think of. We can also use our pencil here to create ramps. Let's see if that one actually works. Oh, and he's going to go backwards. Ah! Oh, and back down to the earth. We can also use the red color here to add a force of our own. We can create a push for him to make him go even faster, to accelerate him. Let's see how that one works. Whoa! Well, he did start going faster, uh, just probably not in a way that he enjoyed. I can erase this line or select it and move it away. But it's not part of my not part of my track anymore. And I think I'll get rid of this one too. And then let's make a ramp that adds a lot of force to him and see what happens. Whoa! Not exactly what I was going for. It takes some trial and error. You're going to make a lot of different prototypes for your sled ramp roller coaster. Prototype is kind of like in writing when we talk about a rough draft. We're going to be taking out pieces that don't work and moving them over to the side until we come up with our final piece. As I talk to you about what you're making today, I'm going to be looking for you to use the words that I covered while describing what the volunteer was doing. Energy, potential energy, the forces acting on him, and gravity, as well as the word kinetic energy, or the energy of motion and movement. Hopefully you can build a more exciting and less painful ride than I have been able to do so far. Good luck.